What's up divas? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting supporting my channel. And for those of you who are new, I am Simply Carrie. And today I'm going to be doing a chit chat while I put my face mask on. Um, just came from work. As you can see my face, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like done. Okay. My day is done. I am not putting on extra makeup for a video right now. I'm just going to do my video and unwind and have a chit chat with you. Okay. So this chit chat is going to be about uninvited, unexpected, unannounced guests. I'm really curious to know, am I the only one who don't want any of that? So I'm going to throw a couple of things out there to you and I'm hoping that you will engage me in the con in the comments section. Um, you know, get the little conversation going, but I want to throw some things out there. Okay. So before I get started, let me go wash my face so that I can put my mask on. This mask is called Centella Repairing Mask. Actually, I feel like I'm starting to get some breakout around here. You can see a blemish here. I got a blemish there. And I just need to relax and unwind and hope that I do not get another uninvited, unexpected, unannounced guest. Okay, so give me one second. Let me go wash my face and then I'm going to apply this and we're going to have a little chat. Okay, so I've washed my face and now I am ready to apply my, my sheet mask. Okay, so you're probably wondering what prompted me to even do this video. Obviously, I've had several people pop by my house. So that's what prompted it. And I'll probably share the one that really got me um, a little bit later. But I just want to set the stage right now just to give you an idea, um, just to kind of get you to really understand. Because some people probably look at it like, what's the big deal? It's no big deal. I, I have an open door policy. People can come by my house. It's no big deal. It's, you know, I, I love people and you must not love people. That's why you mind having people come by uninvited and unannounced. Okay, well, let's go through a couple of scenarios. Okay, let's start with the first. Let's just say you've become intimate with someone and you have not established whether you are boy and girlfriend just yet. Uh, you're at that stage, okay? And this person just pops by your house. Um, is that okay? Is it okay for somebody like that? You know, you you may have been intimate with them. They're not your boyfriend. They're not your girlfriend. You haven't established anything like that. Things are fairly new. And all of a sudden, boom, there they are at your door. Is that okay? Okay. I know for me, it's not. Okay. Um, leave in the comments whether you think that's cool or not. All right. Now, I know we say there are levels to things. Okay, let's move on. Let's go with, let's just go with girlfriend, boyfriend. Okay, yes, you're intimate, but you guys are boy and girlfriend at this point. You guys talk to each other. You spend time with each other. You're at each other's house. Um, chances are it's really not even going to be a pop-up kind of thing. Let me tell you why, because more than likely, you are probably talking to each other on a regular basis. A lot of times um, you're gonna tell each other, oh, you know, um, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna expect that person to come by, okay? They're either gonna come by or they're gonna tell you, no, I'm going out here, so they're not coming. So you pretty much kind of know whether they're coming or they're not coming by, okay? Um, so that you really aren't going to get too much of a pop by thing. Now, let me tell you where it becomes a pop by. Okay. That very same scenario that I gave you, I'm going to put this mask on. 
Okay, that very same scenario that I gave you, where you are dating somebody, you're constantly at their house, they're at yours, but for some reason, might be a weekend, you don't really hear from them. And it's sort of odd. So, you know, you decide, let me drive by their house, let me go see what's going on. Or maybe you really can't even like drive by the house to, to, you know, just see if their car is outside. You really have to go into the apartment building uh, or you gotta, you gotta somehow get in to really see them. You gotta go out your way to see this person. Okay, this mask. All right, um, is that okay? Is it okay for them to pop by? I mean, after all, the, your boy and girlfriend talk all the time. Is that, is that cool? You don't know what you're gonna get if you pop by. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say with that one. All right. So you let me know in the comment section, is, is that okay? All right. Now, let me give you the next scenario. Let's start with family. Is it okay for your mom to pop by your house? If you're not an early bird and she is, is it okay for her to come popping by at eight o'clock in the morning and you don't get up until probably noon because you, maybe you work late or you stay up really late? Is that okay? All right. Is she well within her right to do that because she's your mother? Okay. How about siblings or anybody else in the family. Is it okay for them to just come popping by your house? Now, you might be really kind of close to your siblings and you may find that okay. If you're really close to that person, then yeah, it might not bother you to have your sibling pop by your house. If you're used to that, they're always coming by. They see you no matter what. I mean, they might as well live there. Then you probably would not pay it too much of attention. But um, if that's not the case, then yeah, you might be a little annoyed by that, okay? Now, let's move on to friends. This is a good one, and this is the one that kind of got me. You have a friend who does not live in, this in the same town as you. They call, hey girl, I'm in the area. I just wanted to drop by, see how you're doing. I'm in town. No advance warning that they were even coming into town. Now, if you are coming into town, chances are you know, unless you have, you, you just, it was an emergency and you had to hop on a flight like last minute, you pretty much know when you're coming into town. You don't give your friend a heads up and say, hey girl, um, I'm gonna be in town uh, next week, or I'm gonna be in town a few days from now, and you know, when I come down, I'd like to come see you. Now, a lot of times what happens, let me tell you why some people probably don't, don't, don't announce it, is because they already know the classic answer. Oh, I'm gonna be out of town. I'm not gonna be here. I've had that happen to me. I've had somebody tell me, you know, I'm going out to LA. Hey girl, you know, I'm gonna be in LA on such and such a date. You know, want to come by, see ya, haven't seen you in a while. And what do they tell me? Oh, oh, I'm gonna be out of town. Now, you don't know whether they're gonna be out of town or not, but you know, hey, okay, it is what it is. But that might be one reason why some people don't, don't announce it right away. But I feel that it's a little sneaky to just pop into town and then just say, um, hey, I'm in your area, you know, just thought I'd stop by. I don't like that, don't do that to me. While I don't mind seeing you, I do want some advance notice. Now, this was the kicker for me, okay? When she bought a friend with her, and this is a friend that I know I know this girl, she was my friend and the girl that she was with, 
even though you might want to say, okay, we, we're cool with each other. She's more of her friend, not my friend, okay? And she just comes by and didn't let me know that she was with this girl. Um, and that this weekend, I was busy. I had stuff going on. I was trying to move uh, the furniture back into my room after I had my floors done. And I was trying to um, organize my kitchen. I was doing a whole bunch of different things. So I was really busy and I really just didn't want to have company, okay? So it was bad enough just to have her and it wouldn't have been so, you know, her, okay, fine. But then you bought this other girl that I'm like not all that tight with to the house. And it's like, whoa, I, I don't like this. It's rude. It is absolutely rude. If you look it up, it's stated somewhere in Google. Google it. It's the first page of Google, okay? It is rude to visit somebody and not tell them that you're coming, make no kind of announcement, um, and even bring people. I mean, that is like so rude. You don't know what's going on with a person. You don't know what's going on in their house. You don't know how they may feel. I mean, I don't even have to give a whole bunch of scenarios and reasons why you may not want company, okay? Um, especially company that that's, that's your friend more so than it's my friend, okay? Um, so I guess the message here is stop, don't, don't, don't do that to people. Don't do that. And if you are experiencing something like that, now the passive aggressive response would be don't open your door, okay? But a lot of times these people who come, they're slick. What they do is they call you and you think that they're God knows wherever, they're talking to you and all of a sudden they're like, hey, I, I, I'm, in, I'm in the front of your house. They're like, what? Oh, okay. All right, so, you know, people get really slick about coming by. I, I, I just find it really rude and I don't like it. And I'm just really curious to know what you guys think about something like that. I know that some people are really friendly and they may look at you like, you know, you're um, like, you know, we're so close that I should be able to just pop out of your house. Um, but this is the thing that you really kind of have to also understand is, is, is the person that you're dealing with, okay? While you may feel a certain sense of closeness, and there might be a certain sense of closeness with this person, you have to understand what this person is like. Does this Is this person somebody that normally pops by people's houses themselves? That's not me. I will call a person before I come by. I will let a person know, hey, I was thinking about coming by. Um, you know, I was thinking about coming by around this time. Are you going to be home? Is it okay? I'm literally going to ask permission. I, I want to know, is it cool for me to come by? Okay. Um, and I'm pretty understanding if you, if you don't want company, then Hey, I mean, I know a lot of times people don't, you know, they feel uncomfortable saying, no, no, um, I don't want company right now. But um, I don't really visit people. I'm not, I'm not much of a visitor. I don't visit people often. And when I do visit people, I usually let them know ahead of time that I was planning to come so that they can let me know if it's okay. You know, or you can make up your excuse. I don't care. Isn't it? It, it is not going to. It's not going to kill me if I don't go go to your house. I don't care. I don't care like that. Okay. So. With that, oh, okay, it's time for me to take this off and I'll be back with my final comments. Okay, so this is all done. All I really have to do at this point is just rub in the essence, rub in what's left and just leave it on. I don't have to wash it off. I do hope 
that this helps with the blemishes, especially around my chin. Even though I've been wearing the disposable mask, I feel that I'm getting, not even feel, I know I'm getting breakouts around this area because of the mask. So I hope that this really feels greasy. I, I don't know. I don't know that this is really gonna do much for my skin, but we'll see. Now, you know what? How do you handle um, a situation where somebody is coming by your house uninvited and unannounced like that? Um, I think just, just being honest with a person. You can let a person know, look, I really wanna see you. I really enjoy your company, but this is not a good time. Um, I think just simply being honest and letting a person know this is not a good time it, they should just be able to understand. It's not a good time. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable enough to let a person know that the time that they're coming by is just not a good time for you, then um, yeah, I guess you're just gonna have to hide or no, you're gonna have to just say, uh, listen, this is not a good time, but even when somebody pops up by your house, like you, like you drive, you drive up to your driveway and they're sitting there. You can't just sit there and say, this is not a good time. I think what you have to do is establish boundaries. Simple as that. It, it, I mean, it, it sounds simple. It feels very uncomfortable. It is extremely uncomfortable to set boundaries and people do not like it when you set boundaries, but you have to set boundaries and you really just have to tell people, listen, um, you know, even if it's happened and you don't necessarily want to say anything in the front of the person at the moment, you don't want to address it at that very moment, let them know later on down the line that you don't want that kind of company. I don't mind you coming by, but not under these circumstances. Okay. Um, however you choose to do it. Okay. Um, you know, different, different situations for different, uh, different, you know, people. But I think that, that sometimes honesty is the best, you know, Hey, sometimes you gotta be honest and let people know how you feel. But the bottom line is set some boundaries. Okay, set boundaries um, that way you're not taken advantage of. Let me know in the comments what you think. I already told you what my opinion is. It is not cool. It is rude. It is disrespectful. It's insensitive to that person. So, um, yeah. And this, once again, is the mask that I was using. If you even care about it. Thanks so much, guys, for supporting my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to get out of here. Definitely leave me a thumbs up if you liked my video. Um, if you want to see more content like this, um, let me know what you want to see in the comments section. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Help me grow my channel, guys. All right, so it's good having this chit-chat. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.